Hey guys. Welcome to couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. Accused Russian sleeper agent Maria Butina met in January with the head of a Russian government-affiliated cultural center that authorities have long suspected of being a front for recruiting young American spies. Authorities believe the meeting with Oleg Higinov, the longtime director of the Russian Cultural Center, was one of several pieces of evidence that Butina was a flight risk, and a judge recently agreed. But Butina's attorney insists the get-together was nothing more than a nice dinner out between two Russian expatriates who had met a few times at the embassy, where Higinov serves as first secretary. As far as I know, they went out to dinner that one time, Butina's defense attorney, Robert Driscoll, told Politico. And she might have known him from events at the embassy. Higinov's identity, previously unreported, was confirmed to Politico on Friday by a source familiar with the investigation. The revelation is just the latest twist in an ever-expanding backstory of Butina, who U.S. officials have charged with working from 2015 until at least February 2017 as a covered Kremlin agent under the direction of a top Russian government official and central banker. Butina's efforts allegedly included offering sex in exchange for a job at an unnamed U.S. special interest organization, and infiltrating the National Rifle Association and other influential conservative political organizations to push them toward more pro-Russia policies. She has pleaded not guilty and denied any wrongdoing. Driscoll described her as a foreign student who wanted to make friends, just like hundreds of others attending American University.